proud. Now the question going into this season, obviously, we told you the underlying story early, Jack, was the fact that he said if nothing got done by opening day, he'd be able to laser focus on the season, depending on what happens with this contract. Right, Bob, and at the top of this show, we talked about would today be both an opening day celebration for the Yankees and perhaps a celebration for Aaron Judge with the contract extension, and that's not going to happen. Brian Cashman, the general manager, addressing the media a short time ago, he said there will be no extension done right now. And the Yankees, interestingly, publicly stating what they offered to judge seven-year deal 30.5 million per season that would be the extension of around 214 million you add in whatever he would have gotten in arbitration in this year let's just meet in the middle at 19 million so the Yankees willing to go over 230 million across the next eight seasons that would be the highest average annual value they've ever given to a position player judge electing not to go down that road which sets up a very interesting 2022 he is a superstar he will get the loudest ovation today there will be more fans in the stands wearing number 99 the Yankees felt that was worth 30 plus million a year flash judge and his side obviously feel it's worth more well a lot of years and a lot of money probably more years than I thought the Yankees were willing to go for a guy who's going to be an older free agent but Jack the bottom line is Aaron Judge is betting on himself and he's rolling the dice a little bit that's a very lucrative contract for a lot of years and a lot of security but Aaron obviously feels like you know what last year I was healthy I showed everybody what I can do when I'm healthy he's betting he's going to be healthy for a full year if he is he's going to be in the driver's seat we've got more coming up with Meredith Morakovitz on this in just a little bit in the meantime